Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Where everyone is beautiful. World. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, talking a little bit about Bitcoin. Short video as it's the second Easter day. Do you even have a second Easter day in the rest of the world? Yeah, in the Netherlands we have. So we have some breakfast with family. <coughs> but quickly jump into the charts as Bitcoin was crashing all the way below 40k so let's see what is happening at the moment happening at the moment yeah. this is the chart that we showed you uh, oh, I showed you like two three days ago this is the day chart every candle is a day this candle at the moment not looking good as we were moving upwards slowly above the trend line but this candle now broke the trend line so it's going to close in 17 hours and 11 minutes 17 hours and 11 minutes we should be above it because if not then indeed we broke that trend then we will fall back into that green box which we do and probably to the bottom of the green box which is 38,500 us dollar now, if we are going to fall down below that green box, yes, then the 30k level is a level that we could go again to. I don't want to see this. I don't want to believe it yet, uh, as I think we have a huge area of support at the moment. I will clean up the chart a little bit, guys, like this. Um, but let's see. This candle needs to close in a <clears throat> few hours, 17 hours. And again, that green box, like you can see, was support. Yes, we wicked through a few times all the way here to 34, uh, but we came back above it again now um it is important if we just zoom out a little bit more that we break the 200 day moving average we need to come above that one as long as we don't come above that one um we won't see a massive bull run so that one is very important if we zoom out to the monthly again very important orange line blue line if we close this candle down below the blue line, the 21 moving average, that is bearish, really bearish. That could take us all the way to the bottom of that line again, 33K. And if we break that line, the logarithmic uh, growth curve bottom line, then yes, at the ultimate support is always the 200 weekly moving average. Um, that one is now at 21,424. So yes, that would be higher than the previous all-time high. Um, but again, never in Bitcoin's history we saw during a new bull market <clears throat> or a new bear run that we came down below the previous all-time high. And the previous all-time high was at this level. So if I would draw a line, a horizontal ray over here from this level, we should not go below that one if that this never happened before. Now, uh, you also see this here on the bottom. Oh, sorry guys, on the RSI. Look, we are fighting that line, the downward trend line, and we need to come above that one. And we are not above it. We res found resistance again. We are coming down. Uh, there will be a moment that we break it, like over here, and that's uh, the moment that we see a run. So patience is, I think, the most important thing, which you also see on the Gaussian channel, guys. Yes, again, rejected to the bottom we can wick through the bottom but uh, the bottom can also act as support and the bottom is now at 38600 so a lot of bottoms are uh, showing us 38600 and 500 so we can check the heat map if there is any activity there let's see uh, if you want to trade all of this then use the links down below the video you can claim all the way up to eleven thousand dollar in bonuses by using these links and then depositing bitcoins on those platforms buy with four thousand one hundred dollar bonus uh, prime xbt has a bonus they all have beautiful bonus so check the bonuses now on tensor charts that is this one um, we can see what is happening and we can see this is the 15 minute chart that there is a lot of buying happening around at a level of 38,500. These are the green uh, blocks that you see, but there is even buy orders all the way uh, down to this, le this level here of 36,700. So a lot of people think that we could fall deeper. Uh, most is around 37,500, a lot of uh, flashy uh, buy orders. But again, let's see if that can happen. If these buy orders are buying up the Bitcoins, um, there is not uh, many sell orders. This is the only two blocks here that you can see in sell orders. And then the next sell orders are uh, here at 40,000 and 41,000 and maybe a little bit higher, even normal. So there is a lot of buy 
pressure as well, so that could lead again to a small pump. Um, and if we look to this one over here, the difficulty ribbon, um, then we let's first explain what it does mean. It's a market indicator that uses normalized standard deviation to quantify compression of the difficulty ribbon. Um, historically, zones of high compressions, the so low value, have been good buying opportunities. The compression threshold is here set at 0 0.5. What it says is, every time when we get into this green box, is a perfect buying opportunity. And you can uh, backtrack this all the way to the beginning of Bitcoin. But when we come in this green box, you should have bought here. You should have bought here. On the bottom, you see the green box. But if you look upwards, you see where the price was and where the price went after leaving that green box again. So in the green box has always been a good buying opportunity. And that is what we see. And at the moment, we are... Touching, can we zoom in a little bit? Did yes, we are touching that green box. We just went in it again. And we can still see the small uptrend in the yellow line in this green box, but we are getting into this. When we leave that green box is again the perfect moment, um, you know, to have been buying your Bitcoins. Because if you leave this green box, that means that the price will react and will be going up. And that will mean uh, that again, that green box told you the perfect moment to buy bitcoins do we have anything else yes i have one more chart i think over here this one and um, this is the mvrvz score and um, what does this one tell you i'm going to show you this one tells you if bitcoin is overvalued or undervalued uh, red says bitcoin is overvalued and green says bitcoin is undervalued so um, we are closer to being undervalued than we are to being overvalued and the moments we get into these areas just let's just check if i if i just draw the line like this the moment we get into these areas where the yellow line is getting into now look what happened with the price after every time over here we got into this the price went up over here we came down below us into the green box the price went up so every time this happens afterwards we see this huge run in the price so are we going to find support now at this level and then bounce again and the, see the price reacting or are we going to fall to that green box first uh, that is the question for me um, I'm hoping to see a bounce over here and then see the price react to that one. That was everything for today. Yes, that was everything for today. Um, bam. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I completely forgot to wish you a happy second Easter day. So have a happy second Easter day with some chocolate and all that stuff. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Um, looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow and set out that will be the first presentation in the netherlands and wednesday in amsterdam second presentation in the netherlands and then the next one will be i think i don't even know anymore i think it will be king's day in Arnhem. now thank you see you tomorrow again bye